What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. The Seahawks are shuffling their roster around a little bit on this Tuesday. Nothing big, but definitely some stuff worth digging into for at least a minute here, especially this first one, because this actually affects the 53-man. This affects the team that we're going to be fielding from week to week. So... Adam Schefter has the uh, news here. This is a couple hours old at this point, but um, Artie Burns has been signed to the active roster. Now remember, when a player's on the practice squad, they get two promotions to the 53-man. And Artie Burns was promoted to the 53-man um, twice already this year for the first and second game. So if we wanted him on the 53-man again, we couldn't just promote him for a week. We had to bring him up. So we're bringing him up now, which means he gets basically a full year salary. And I believe it would not be fully guaranteed because he was not part of the 53-man week one. But I don't know exactly how that works because he was promoted to the 53-man for week one. But either way, Artie Burns is playing pretty decently so far this year. So I think we're going to want to keep him around and we may end up needing him. That's kind of the uh, main gist of this um decision, I think. So, Artie Burns now going to be a locked-in part of the 53-man for at least a little while here. A couple reasons why that could be. Maybe we're not happy with the way Julian Love's playing in the slot, because he's been getting beat up pretty badly. Maybe we're concerned about Mike Jackson, and we're just going to promote Artie Burns to get Mike Jackson out of here, and he's just going to become, at this point, basically, maybe Mike Jackson goes down to the practice squad at this point, because who's going to want him the way he's been looking and the way we've been refusing to play him? Maybe it's because Tariq Woolen's injury is non-trivial, and they want to at least give themselves an emergency option if Woolen can't play in this next game. Probably a combination of all these things, but it makes sense, right? Artie Burns uh, played good in the preseason, been fine so far this season, and he's, generally speaking, a pretty good player, so you uh, you got to have him around. And we used all the promotions we could. We were probably hoping that by this point in the season, we'd be ready to rock with Woolen and Witherspoon at 100%, but that's not happening. We get Witherspoon back, and Woolen immediately gets hurt. So we got to at least prepare ourselves for the possibility of actually needing Artie Burns. So this is the big one. The other two moves the Seahawks made today were... Matt Landers and Robert Rochelle have been relieved of their practice squad duties. So, Artie Burns, Matt Landers, and Robert Rochelle are off the practice squad. Burns gets promoted. Landers and Rochelle just get cut, so they're both free to go. I'm disappointed about Landers, I'm not going to lie, because I liked him. I liked his talent, I liked his potential, but uh, I, I guess we just decided we needed the spot. So, at this point, we have not yet announced any corresponding moves, but we have three openings on the practice squad because we shuffled a little bit last week because uh, Holton All Ailers is not on our practice squad anymore, so we actually don't have a quarterback. And now with these three moves, we have three openings on the practice squad, so we're definitely going to bring some guys in. I think we need a quarterback. I don't know who it's going to be. One guy who's um kind of getting involved in the rumors is Matt Coral because Matt Coral has been uh, waived by the Patriots. I think it's the Patriots anyway. He's clearing waivers, it looks like. So Matt Coral might get brought in as our practice squad quarterback. Uh, Seahawks Forever here has a tweet briefly uh, mentioning it as a possibility. He's far from the only person I've seen talk about Matt Coral, though. Matt Corral. If, if we sign him, I'll learn how to pronounce his name. Um, it's either Matt Corral or Matt, Matt Coral. I'm not a fan of him at all, but practice squad, sure. He's more than qualified for a practice squad spot. He is a maybe the definition of a good practice squad quarterback. So yeah, um, that may happen. There are going to be some other guys out there available for a practice squad quarterback. It's not that hard to find one. You can go get, maybe is Jacob Eason still out there? Somebody like that. If he's available, you can probably get him on the practice squad. But we need a quarterback. And we probably need to add a defensive back because two of the guys we lost are defensive backs. And I would not mind bringing in another offensive lineman because, well, we're a little beat up there. All right. I'll see you guys later. Go Hawks. Stream with the Hawks Nest tonight. There's going to be another video around 6. And then about 7 o'clock, me and him are going to go live and talk about this Lions game. See you guys there. Go Hawks.